hope you're all well. Uh, it's October somewhere. I don't know. But it's a nice sunny day. Sun's out. We're in the garden. We got through the storm. It's a little bit of damage in the uh, nappy shed, so we're drying that out. And uh, it comes through the chimney, so at least we found that. We know the source, so we're going to fix that and rectify it. But yeah, so today we're not doing much. We've had Scran this morning. Oh god, here he is. Uh, here's our special. He's going back in today. Yeah, hi Dennis. Hello, Hello Dennis. Dennis. Special. Bless him. Yeah, he's. So we've got Jono, and we've got JC. Christopher's gone, he's had to go home, but he, he cooked breakfast first, so that's more important one. He had uh, bratties, what's it, bacon grill and baked beans. Yeah, don't go near any of this lot. Yeah, that's, it's good that we're outside, to be honest. So, we hope you're well. And like I say, we're not doing much today, so we've had some scran, and we're now using the water in the IBC container that we put nettles and... Is it Comfries or something like that that we put in to make a natural uh, compost feed for the for the um, for the soil in the polytunnel? We've added some of the worm juice in there as well, so we've got loads of that. Got loads of that, absolutely loads of that. Filled in a two-liter bottle as well, so we've got loads of that for uh, the winter period. So we'll keep feeding the soil ready for next year. So I'll show you what the boys are doing. So we follow Jono because he's the youngest and most handsome. Yeah, we'll censor that later. So we've got all the IBC, water in there, got all the nettles that we put in there at the beginning of the year with the comfries and everything else. We've also thrown some juice. So he's filled a container. Come on, mate. Let's go, modeling. You follow him down to the polytunnel. Yeah, not that kind of modeling. That's how, that's fans only page. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> So we've got more walking, so this lot are getting their training. What's, What's in, in there? there? Uh, Brussels sprouts. Oh, yeah. Brussels sprouts are in there. We've raised it up so they can grow properly. Into the polytunnel. And what we're doing is we're, yeah, getting the corner, mate, because that has not got a lot. Now get in that corner there and then bring it across down here. So we're drenching the soil in the polytunnel. So normally when you do a bit of watering on the top, it will be about that deep wet. Possibly, yeah. So if you dig in, you'll see that the rest of the soil below it is dry. So we've done about three containers in one area to make sure that water gets into the soil. And then we're going to clear all this of so the leaks. These are going to go. The tatties are going to go. And then we'll have a clear patch like this. It'll all be clear all the way round, and we'll get it prepped for next year. And we'll do this another time, more closer to the. Uh, sowing season so the soil will be fed again with the natural process and the worm feed and everything else and we'll have that done cheers mate so we'll have that done and ready for next year because we have noticed this season that the soil was extremely dry uh, tomatoes didn't do nothing and everything else and we think that's part to do with the soil but more to do with the weather because the weather was just uh, terrible and a lot of people were struggling with tomatoes Part of the people that I saw on Narrow Vets and they had them on the boats. They had amazing tomatoes, so um, we'll find out. It could be anything, but we're trying to resolve that. So, yeah, so that's all we're doing today. And what else are we doing? Hello, good what, morning. What else are we doing? Have we got to keep drowning these tomatoes in here? There's no tomatoes in there. See? <laughs> See? No, See what, no growth. <laughs> See what you got to deal with? Yeah, it's a need therapy just to put up with this lot. But no, they're enjoying it. They're having a laugh. And moreover, they're getting exercise physical exercise the mental exercise is then coming up with the ideas thinking of the plans yeah abusing them helps <laughs> that typical military banter and everything else given that safe environment that they feel good in as you see i'm a lot lot better black dog's gone my life looks absolutely amazing and i'm extremely happy for all the support that everybody's given me i love every single one of you yeah, you've done amazing work for me and I appreciate. There's a few special people out there that you know who you are and you were there every single day. And there's a special, special lady that is there and she's still there. So thanks very much for that. I appreciate all the support. Uh, and I can give it back to these guys now. All right, then. take care, be safe, look after each other. Bye-bye.